Welcome to the Impact Evolution Podcast. I'm your host, Coach Andy James. I've put this podcast out here to provide support, guidance, and insight through real life experience that I've learned so that you can impact your life through my lessons. This is raw guidance that will help you evolve your body, brain, business, or career. My purpose is to help you build, grow, and evolve into the best version of yourself to live a healthy, wealthy, fulfilled life. Welcome to this episode. Enjoy. We're going to try something different. I do a lot of my best thinking when I'm sat behind the wheel of this thing, and I do a lot of that in my week. Um, But I want to talk to you today just quickly around about discomfort. So I'm going to actually share a small, short story with you, actually. So today, I've gone back to a gym that I used to use a while ago. Um, So the gym that I've been training in for a while now hasn't... It's not been giving me the feel-good factors that I want to be able to take away from it. Uh, it's been creating a lot of like social anxiety for me rather than you know, resolving why it is that I'm there in the first place, like to be enjoying of going to a gym. And I went back to a gym that's moved to a new location that I used to train at and turning up to that gym today had me feeling massively overwhelmed. And I know most of the people in there, I know the type of place that it is, I know the type of clientele that they keep. But the feeling of discomfort was the thing that was really stopping me from wanting to go in and just say, yep, take my money, sign me up, I want to become a member again. And that feeling of discomfort would have been the thing that it would have talked me out of doing what was best for me. If I'd have listened to that discomfort and allowed that to control the, the conclusion of why I was there in the first place, then I would have probably have walked away and said, you know what, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to go to that gym. Um, this feeling of discomfort doesn't feel good. So I'd have kind of made a, a preempt decision and said, no, it's not going to happen. But I had one conversation, and this is all it takes. I had one conversation with one of the owners as I was walking out, and he knows me very, very well. And it was that one conversation that took me from feeling uncomfortable because it's just a change of scenery into a place where I was 110% sold on this becoming my new location to train at. It's more local, more beneficial. They allow me to use a camera so I can actually get back to training and filming and doing all the things that really matter inside of gyms that can help as well. But all that aside, the biggest thing was if I'd have listened to the discomfort that that was creating, I'd have walked out of there today saying, I shouldn't be here. This isn't for me. And that discomfort is what most people operate from. When something feels like they're not, it's not how it's supposed to be, or it's not easy, or it doesn't come to me as easy as I would like, whatever their feeling of discomfort is, that feeling of discomfort in itself is the thing that stops people from achieving goals. Because they listen to the discomfort and say, well, I need to resolve this. Then the easiest way to resolve discomfort is to remove it. Well, what did I just do that triggered this discomfort? And whatever it was, you go and remove it. So for me, that would have been removing a gym that's six miles away from my house, not 26 miles away from my house. That would be me gaining time back in my day, being surrounded by a community of people that are more on my wavelength and my frequency. And you know what I'm all about, speaking to people and being surrounded by people that are on the wavelength that I'm on. So just to kind of cap off about that feeling of discomfort, If you're ever experiencing something where you are facing discomfort in what it is that you are challenging yourself with, you're in the right place. That discomfort is gonna show you, give you, produce so much more for you than what it would do if you were to just say, I'm gonna remove that feeling of discomfort. You know, not today, I don't want this feeling of discomfort, not for me today. And you let it go and then therefore you don't achieve. For me today, the result was walking away knowing that I was surrounded by a a group of like-minded people in an environment that was closer to home, removed a lot of frustration with travel, allowed me the freedom to be creative, the freedom to be me, um, and not be kind of confined by what I'd gotten used to inside of the gym environment that I was training at. So this isn't so much about being in a gym environment, but this is just more about reminding you that your discomfort is usually the thing that you should be chasing down, not the thing that you should be avoiding. If you're still here at this point, thank you. I appreciate your support and I hope you got some value from this podcast. If you did, we grow by word of mouth. So sharing this podcast with a friend or to your social media profile would be a huge honor. 
Thanks again. Hope to catch you in the next one. Take care.